Today I'm going to show you guys some brand new implements that just got released by Light Elegance. Hey guys, it's Liz from The Nail Hub and I am back with a new product release. Light Elegance, one of the companies that I love working with, just released some brand new implements called Precision Scissors. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about what these are, how they can be used, and why I really like tools like this. And I'm very excited to continue a lot of my gel nail fundamentals, um, add some new awesome offerings to the channel, and continue to talk to you about some of the products that we represent and why I think they're awesome and how they can be used and just kind of give you all the knowledge you need to be able to make some great purchasing decisions, especially now with a lot of us having to make a lot of these purchasing decisions through the internet more than ever. All right, so let's start off with these brand new precision scissors from Light Elegance. A lot of people have been asking me about these because it's not very apparent what they're for. They're not quite cuticle scissors, but they're also not regular scissors either. And I really like these two options that Light Elegance came out with. I like that they're adding new implements to their offerings because implements, especially for gel companies or actually any type of nail product company, a lot of times implements tend to take a backseat or they're an afterthought or a manufacturer just kind of offers them because they think they have to. And so because it's not their you know, bread and butter per se, a lot of times the implements tend to take a little bit of a hit. Um, I really like the fact that a lot of the manufacturers we work with, like Light Elegance, they have been putting a big focus into their professional tools. And I like that they're starting to add some new things to their offerings. So the precision scissors come in this packaging, which is very nice. Um, and you can see on the back, it gives you like a little bit of a, an overview of, you know, what these are for, how they can be used and some of the features of them. And I also wanted to talk about my personal take on these. Um, and, you know, again, although these are definitely companies that I love um, and, you know, I could be very salesy and just say, buy, buy, buy this. I also want to make sure that you understand what they're for so that you can make your own decision because I think that's really important. So I wanted to kind of compare these. So let me break open the big difference between the two or really the only main difference between the two is the style of the blade. So you'll see that these are the straight scissors. So you can see that they close straight. There's no curvature really to the blades. They just straight, you know, straight cut like that. And then the other ones are curved. And so they do have an angle to the blades. So you can see the difference there. So depending on your preference, straight or curved, or maybe you love both for different reasons. Um, I do like the squeezy handle. I'm a big fan of even nippers that are like this, I think it's much more tactile for people and I think it's much easier for people to control when something has kind of a resistance factor to it where it's like a squeeze and a release. I find those to be a lot easier to work with than something that you have to either manually open and close or you know something different. So for example, these are some of the scissors that I use, they're just regular like nail form scissors, but you have to, you know, cut like that, which is easy to do if you're just cutting a nail form or you're cutting whatever, nail foil, um, you know, little liner pieces or something like that. Um, obviously scissors are easy to use and we've all used scissors before. But when you're talking about something that's kind of up in close quarters, sometimes having a more refined tip, having a shorter length of blade and also having that more resistance, squeezy type of closure really helps because you can do little snips instead of having to get in there and control the opening and the closing. All right, so let's start off with a comparison between these and let's say some cuticle scissors. Now, a lot of people are starting to use pre precision scissors like these for cutting skin. I definitely think that's possible with these, but I would argue that these are more for bigger projects than really detailed cuticle work and I'll get into why. All right, so if we compare these to some cuticle scissors that I have here, um, you'll see that the blades, if I just open these for you, okay, the blades are much slimmer on actual cuticle scissors and much smaller and the way that they close 
is usually a lot tighter than let's say something like this. So you can see that even just the point is a little bit more delicate on cuticle scissors. And when we're working with skin, we want something that is very, very refined. At least that's my humble opinion when it comes to doing something like cuticle work. You want finer, almost like medical grade scalpel level type of tools when you're working with any type of um, combination manicure, e-file manicure, you know, trimming any type of skin. Um, and again, even the trimming of skin is up for debate amongst many people. Some people are all for it. Some people are absolutely against it. And there's also a lot of different areas that either allow it or don't allow it. So I just wanted to kind of show you up against, um, you know, some actual cuticle scissors, what the differences look like. You can just see that these are, I mean, the precision scissors are very nice, um, but they're not as refined or as precise, I guess is a good way to put it as actual cuticle scissors, okay? So just wanted to make that clear. They're kind of uh, in between. And these are also really great for kind of a starter option if you're looking for something that could trim maybe hangnails or um, you know bigger parts of skin, maybe around the edges of the finger. You can definitely use these for that. But let me show you what my favorite thing is for scissors like this. Okay, so my first scenario is when we're trying to trim a nail form. Now I have shown you on my channel before all about trimming nail forms and fitting nail forms and why we cut little you know notches here to relieve the paper but also one of the easier ways to do nail forms is to fit the nail form on the finger first so i'll just put this on really quick okay is to be able to actually just without notches without any of that stress being able to just get the form on the finger and just focus on, okay, I just need to get this on the finger first because forms can be very overwhelming in the beginning. And then we obviously need some relief notches because if we don't do relief notches, you're gonna have paper sticking out on either side of the finger, which tends to create bulk. Okay, so how do we get rid of this bulk that's on either side of the finger? Well, we obviously need to cut our relief notches on the paper and with some precision scissors like this, you can really get in there and cut out the paper without ever having to remove the form off of the finger, which is really nice. So the curved ones I really like for this just because they already kind of do half the job for you and they tend to curve away from the finger, which is nice, but it's completely personal preference. You may love the straight ones. And so it just depends on what you like. So even with the form on the finger, and if this was my client, obviously it would be this way. I can get my scissors in there and trim out those notches while the form is on the finger, which is really nice. So once you do one notch, I like to kind of reposition the form and flick out that notch that I've just created. You can see how nice of a job that does. And then you can go in on the other side and snip that out and then readjust the form as well, okay? So I know that the cutting of the form can be, like I said, a little overwhelming for people, especially when they're getting started but being able to just get the form on and then cut those relief notches while the form is on the finger is a really nice way to be able to do that. And I really like scissors like this because just with a little squeeze, you can snip those notches very, very easily. Now, obviously I'm just showing you on my regular, natural, not filed for forms type of nail. And I didn't even focus on making sure this is all lined up because I'm not really going to extend anything on here. And I do want you guys to, um, you know, to practice actually doing this for reels when you're sculpting, but you can see how easily I was able to put the form on in three seconds and snip out those notches. And that leaves me with a nice barrel of paper just underneath the free edge of my finger, which is going to allow me to get product on my fingernail all the way out onto the form without any of this paper creating bulk on the sides or having to fight around that paper. So I really like these curved ones for that particular purpose. Now, the other thing that we often deal with a lot is working with some of this kind of liner tape. When you're putting this on the finger, it can be really frustrating to try and align it. And a lot of us, you know, we do things like this where we will put the tape on the finger like so. Let me just trim off this excess here so I don't have to worry about the wheel. Okay, so we will press this, um, you know, detail tape, liner tape, whatever you want to call it, striping tape. There's a bunch of names for it. But let's say I'm getting ready to encapsulate this in gel and I want to make sure that I have 
enough on the sides that I'm going to be able to get that in there. And a lot of times I see people wrapping the tape all the way around the finger because as you know, if you trim it too early, sometimes it just starts to curl up on you and you cannot get that in there. The other thing I love precision scissors for because they have such a refined tip is that you're able to get right up close to the fingernail and snip off any of that tape right down by the sidewall. Okay. So these are great for that as well. You can go down, you know, the direction of the nail or you can come up the opposite direction, but just with one little snip, I'm able to get that off of there and put that right on the finger. Okay. Um, and if you guys are interested in me doing a tutorial on striping tape, I can absolutely do that. I know this is one of those things that a lot of people love the look of, but getting it to stay is just a total nightmare. Um, and it looks so cute when it's done, but it's just like even now, right? I don't have this clean, so it's like going to pop a little bit. But having something that's a tight tip like this with just a little snip and you can actually cut with the very, very tip of the scissors like these is really nice because you're able to get in those tight areas. Now, again, you could use the straight blades for this, which I typically like straight if I'm doing something on sidewalls. But you could also use the curve for this if you want to have the blades kind of curve away from the finger and you can get in there for nail forms you can get in there for any type of striping tape and i really like precision tools like this like these precision scissors so there's a couple scenarios of when you're in a tight spot you need to trim something off and you need to be able to get in there same thing with anything like foils or if you have stickers or something like this that you're trying to trim out you know a water decal Scissors like this are really great because you're able to get really close around that and trim very, very precisely, much better than a big set of scissors that might do a little bit too much. But those are just some of the, you know, the couple or two or three scenarios that I can think of that I would definitely use these for. Um, like I said, you absolutely can use them for big hangnails, things like that. Um, but I would actually just me being me, I would use these more for those tight areas, like trying to trim a nail form, trying to trim some striping tape, anywhere where I'm in a tight spot where I need to fit teeny tiny blades in between the finger or the nail and whatever the object is. Um, and I like these because they're not expensive, like cuticle scissors can be, sometimes cuticle scissors can be 40 or $50 for a really nice pair. Um, and you also don't wanna be dulling your cuticle scissors or your nippers with trimming paper, nail forms, striping tape. Um, as I've told you before, when you're trimming skin, you want to make sure that your tools are excessively sharp because you don't want to be mashing skin with dull blades. And so if you have a really nice pair of nippers or cuticle scissors, you do not want to be using those on anything but skin. Um, I also have found that on toenails and things like that, these are great if you're trying to trim a tight corner, if you're trying to get you know something out of there, um, they are really good for that. And like I said, just the resistance snippiness of this makes it very easy in a tight spot. You don't have to be opening your hand and closing it like you do with scissors. So just one little snip usually takes care of anything you're trying to get after. Um, the other thing that I really like these for that I actually just used them for this morning, I used the straight blade ones, is I trimmed my eyebrow hairs. So I don't know if you guys do this, but when I um, do my eyebrows every so often, I usually will brush my eyebrows in this area all the way up. And then the back side of my brows, I brush down. Um, and what I do is I go in with some scissors. I usually borrow my husband's beard scissors, uh, which he hates, <laughs> but I actually use these today for that. I have another pair in my house and I went and I just trimmed my eyebrows. Um, so if you are a beauty pro that loves to do more than just nails, these would also be great for things like trimming up brows, um, even trimming, you know, lash extensions. If you need something that's just tight and lets you snip. Um, and also I like to wear eyelash, um, like false eyelashes when I go out on the weekends and the straight, I think would be perfect for trimming off the excess length. I always have to customize the length of my lashes. And so being able to either snip these into little clusters that I can glue on or being able to trim the length, these are excellent for that. So even if you're not into nails and you're into makeup or other things like that, having some little precision scissors like these are wonderful. Um, and I can tell you that when I did my brows this morning, they did an excellent job. And you guys all know that I am obsessed with beautiful brows. 
So hope that helps. Hope that um, explains what these new LE precision scissors are for. And I will be in touch next time with another awesome video. All right, bye guys.